this Vapor Glow 5. I've been looking at those for so many years, but they were never available somewhere close to me where I didn't have to pay a lot for shipping and have no returns. I've debated whether I should get them or not, but now that I have, I've been thinking I should return them because I got them very expensive, like 115 euros. But those shoes, they are good. Those are good shoes. There is... I have so many mixed feelings because this is not a vapor glow. This is not really a vapor glow. Let me show you why. That's a vapor glow 4. Let me put them against each other. What did you notice here? The 5 will absolutely fold the 4. The 4 is like a piece of tissue. And this is a solid shoe. The 5 is a solid shoe. So it's the same, the 6 is even more flexible than the 5, than 4, look at this, look at this. That's even less, than, that's, that's like a broken down tissue, that's like nothing. But this is all what the vapor glows are all about, they're all about their flexibility and this Vibram soul. That's what the vapor glows are. And coincidentally, this is the first vapor glow without the big toe guard. And it also is the first vapor glow that isn't a vapor glow, so... This is maybe closer to a tray glove because this is stiffer. Now this is brand new. The fours are also brand new and the six are also brand new. The six have been, been worn a bit more, but still I showed you in the initial review of the sixes when they were brand new too, that they were still more flexible than the fours. And I was very impressed by that and they're also lighter. Those are a bit heavier. Oh, yeah, that's a big difference. Those, of course, they're super light, but they're heavier, absolutely heavier. They don't have the toe guard. They're not as flexible. They still have Vibram soles. And it's a one piece construction. The sixes also thankfully have a gasseted tongue here for the dirt. Also the sixes have a higher, they're higher on this part. Those are even lower. Those are as low as the force probably, yeah, maybe a bit. No, I would say they're the same as the force. When it comes to this part, so you might see that they are one piece and you get excited because dirt will not get in, but no, dirt will still get in through the sides, right? Those are very low sides. I wish they were a bit taller so that they wouldn't defeat the purpose of the whole one piece construction. Now, those look cool. I don't love the purple, I'm not a big fan of purple, I don't see the point, but it's like from far away, it looks a bit like it is basically like a camo purple. And those laces are amazing. Midnight blue, just the same as my Genesis sandals from Zero. And... Oh man. So many mixed feelings on these shoes. Okay, let's talk about sizing. Sizing is the easy part. Sizing is the same as the 6s. I wear a 45, 6 and in 5, they fit the same. The 4s, I wear a 45, but they're a bit too long for me. 44.5 is better, but they're a bit too narrow in 44.5 at this stage of my feet, uh, like uh, on my barefoot journey, as I guess you could say it, but my feet right now cannot take the 4s in 44.5, but my feet right now can take the 3s in 44.5, even though those are leather, they have broken in and they're wider, the 3s are wider than the 4s, the 4s are still wider than the sixes, but the sixes actually look wider than the fives, even though the fives don't actually restrict my toes. It makes no sense, I know. When I first put on the fives, I could feel my big toe getting destroyed. This, this cut a bit too aggressively on the big toe, but this don't cut a bit too aggressively on the small toe. Even though visually you cannot see, visually seriously, the sixes look wider, but they're not. I don't know why. The sixes mess up my small toe, those don't. So when I put them on, I realized my small toe was fine. Even in 44.5, even half a size smaller, I think my small toe was still fine. But my big toe has issues. Now, I wore them for a few minutes, all of a sudden big toe is fine. I don't know what to tell you, this is weird. But anyway, when it comes to sizing, get the same as you would get on the six and on the four, and you should be fine. The threes, half a size smaller, because they're wider, so they're good. Uh, so yeah, the sizing is that. Now, this sole, 
it's not as flexible as you saw. There's a difference. It's heavier too. But this is a great sole, I think. Look at the pattern here. I think this pattern is going to be like uh, effective in so many different circumstances. It's going to be better in the wet than the spaced out tiny lugs on the 6. And probably than the, again, spaced out lugs on the 4s. I think it's going to be better in the wet, even though it is... It's not as flexible, but it's still soft. Like I can bend them with my like my, my nails. I can bend the lugs, but this because the lugs are flatter and more, there are more lugs. This is gonna be much more durable, I think, for concrete use. I have no worries wearing those even on the concrete. I think they're gonna be amazing. But look at this. Look, look at the lack of flexibility here. Look, look. It's like like more. You see. Again, with the force, same strength, no, they don't bend, they don't bend, but they're, they're so good, I don't know why, they don't restrict my toes at all, I know this sole is going to perform, they don't have a toe guard, so you can wear them anywhere you like, you can wear them with jeans, whatever, of course in this color they're a bit more vibrant, but you can get those in black. Nobody, abs I promise you, nobody will know you're wearing barefoot shoes. Those are like regular sports shoes, but they have the comfort, the weight of the regular of the vapor gloves and uh, in general barefoot, bare, barefoot shoes, and they will perform. So this toggle, by the way, this is very hard. That's part of why my big toggle can be restricted. That is a pretty solid toggle on the big toe there. So don't worry about protection, you should be fine. Of course, smaller toes are not as protected, but again, this is a stiffer sole. Maybe it is a stiffer sole because it doesn't have the toe guard. I don't know. And they wanted to make it more protective, but this is a more protective shoe overall. I would take this on trails, whatever. You will be fine. So this is not a variable glove. It doesn't have a toe guard. It's not flexible, as flexible. Of course, it still is. I mean, look, I mean, you can flex it if you want. Like, make no mistake, that is what it should be, but it's just not the same, and it's a bit heavier, and all these things. And I should return the shoes, but I don't want to. I don't know why, it's just to wear them. I was wearing them at the gym, I was like, that's a good, like, so comfy. When I wear the force, I have all kinds of weird pressure points, and I can feel my heels slipping out because they're a bit longer than I want to but they're too narrow so I couldn't get them half a size smaller when I wear the threes okay they're the leathers so it doesn't count different when I wear the sixes they ruin my small toe and also they don't look so good because this extremely pronounced toe guard so they look a bit weird but when I wear those I don't worry about anything I know they look normal they're nice and comfy nice and grippy very durable and protective if I want to wear them like on the bike or whatever. I know it will have some protection. But there is an issue with the to with this, uh, this thing here. It's a bit loosey-goosey. As you can see, like grown and healthy said that this is too slippery. He didn't like it. And he would like tie them, tie the laces very, very much. And then they would fold on itself. It doesn't fold on itself on my right foot, but it does on my left foot. Because I have to tie uh, the left foot a bit more because it's smaller. It's like almost half a size smaller than the right foot. But it doesn't, I wouldn't say I have an issue with uh, the folding, but I would say that after wearing them for a few minutes, they were very comfy, but there was instability. It wasn't the kind of instability that I get with a force where I feel like this, the, my heel is going to slip out. This heel is better designed. It curves inward. I guess it, no, it doesn't. As you can see in this, it is a bit more straight. This curves inward, so it will hold your your heel a lot better. Like your heel will go in and it's gonna hold it. It's a bit of a hook in the back. But the rest of the upper, you will feel your foot slide around. Not uncomfortably so, but I wouldn't wanna do explosive like lateral side to side, like all this stuff. I wouldn't want to do this with, with these soles. 
this is basically a casual vapor glove shoe. If you want that, if you're looking for that, this is the best, one of the best shoes you can get. And the best vapor glove you can get because you're going to wear it with everything. It's going to be comfortable, it's not going to be narrow like the 60s or too long like the 4s. It's going to be great. Like for general purposes, this is an amazing shoe. And I guess this, this is getting a long video. This is becoming a long video, but uh, I don't know. I hope you get what I mean. I'm still confused, obviously. I should return them because they're way too expensive for a shoe that is so loosey-goosey here. And they're also purple, so I'm not sure. Like, they look good, but I'm just not sure about them. In black, they're an absolutely safe bet. Get them in black, absolutely. So yeah, that's it. You will be seeing more reviews, of course, of the fives. We'll see how we get on. I think I'm going to keep them. I just don't want to send them back. They're such a cool shoe. And they're all purple, so very, very useful. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Get subscribed. Next up, Field Grounds. Fresh shoes. Within. This is the same shoe. Winning is comping Field Grounds. And Zero is copying also Phil Grouse and Whitting with the Dillon. I don't have the Dillons, but we will be making a good comparison there. Very, It's going to be very eye-opening, I think, for most of you. So yeah, get subscribed, leave a like if you, if you want, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Paper Glow 5s. <laughs> I love this shoe. I love this shoe. I shouldn't love it, but I do. I don't know what to tell you. That's a good and confusing shoe. Gonna see you in the next one.